so everyone always asks why the Minnesota River does this, why there's a big bend at Mankato. And what I first like to say is that wouldn't it have been cool to be there when River Warren was making that bend? Huge turbulent stream, big eddy probably choking the, the water a bit and it was flooding upstream. You know, there was some weird dynamics happening when that river went around that corner. And why it did that is still kind of mysterious. Um, the bedrock does gradually change from west to east across Minnesota and the old explanation used to be that you were leaving a terrain that was more like the, the rock you see in New Ulm, the pink quartzites and the granites and Morton and going into the layered sedimentary rocks that you see in the Twin Cities here, the limestones and sandstones. That didn't really make sense to me um, intuitively. There had to be more to the story than that. And we do know that as the ice retreated across Minnesota, there would be temporary lakes on the landscape that drained off in one direction and left a little channel. So our current thinking is that the, the lake that was covering most of Blue Earth County and a little beyond must have drained in that direction, that northeast direction, and started a small channel. So there was a little gouge on the landscape, nothing as big as what we have now. But also, if you strip away all the, the glacial material and look at the bedrock channels that are much, much older, that are older than when the dinosaurs were in Minnesota, there is a north draining channel that comes up through Blue Earth County and intersect, goes through downtown Mankato and comes in right about there. And so there might, the Glacial River Warren might have kind of felt that bedrock channel and might have decided it was easier to erode there and continued in that channel. The thing I don't like about that explanation is that um, it didn't stay in that channel. It immediately left it and by the time you get to Kasoda, it's carving a new channel for itself through the bedrock. So, you know, it's one of those things that's still speculation and there are theories and it's what makes geology interesting because we might find out something new in the future that will be the answer. Maybe you'll find the answer to this question.